as a woman, how difficult has it? How difficult have you found it, or how easy have you found it getting into the game of football? Because I know you mentioned um, level two. Um, how how difficult has it been? What obstacles have you had to overcome to get to get to where you've got to now? Well, if I think about myself as an example, to be honest, I haven't actually had many obstacles, and I've been really fortunate. Um, I mean, my background's in you know primary education, and uh, by profession, I'm a teacher. And uh, I've worked. Um, I worked with Rachel Yankee, uh, who plays for Arsenal um, currently, and uh, we did some football education projects together about well, probably six, seven years ago. And uh, she knew I was into the game, and she knew that I coached the boys' football team. Um, but at that point, you know, seven years ago, I didn't have any coaching qualifications. I just did what I thought was best. So she then got me in contact with uh, certain people that will aid my development. And since then I've been working closely with her uh, you know I, I, she runs um, a youth a, a club on Saturdays a grassroots club that we now that I regularly coach at and I have a, a, a team that I coach and manage so I've been really fortunate that I've uh, you know she's been a tremendous support I've also got support from um, the FA in terms of the female development side uh, with people there at the Ar Arsenal Lady Centre of Excellence uh, John Bayer there is allowing me to come and shadow sessions at the Academy and the Centre of Excellence. So if I think about it from my part, I haven't um, faced any barriers. I've been fortunate enough to receive support. But what I would say is that I, it hasn't been handed on a plate. Mm -hmm. I've gone out there and I've gone out there to look for support. I've gone out to say, this is what I would like to do. How can you help me? And it's then they pro provided me with the avenues in terms of the journey that that's been up to me, how far I take it. So, for instance, we look at today, you know, I've traveled from North London um, to where we are um, to have a look, you know, to come and observe. Take that, you know, there was an opportunity to observe a fantastic coach. I, you know, there's lots I've learned from it that I can then translate back into grassroots. What would be your message for, for um, women and especially Asian women trying to get into football what would be your one message that you'd want them to take away uh, one of the things i'd say is get in contact with your county fa they th um like i said you know earlier on that there are projects and schemes available now to tackle the underrepresentation, and i know that's part of the fa's uh, national strategy so get in contact with your local county fa they will then put if you're thinking about coaching they will put you in touch with your local uh, grassroots clubs your local grassroots clubs will be more than happy i'm sure um you know they always want an extra helping hand for you to go along have a look and there are certain grassroots clubs like for instance our one based in northwest london that if you um commit and to coaching regularly then we will pay for you to go on your level one course but f in terms of rewarding that commitment you must then also take up you know take on um, a team you know within that club so uh, the one of the messages I'd, I'd give out is get in contact with your um, county FA mm -hmm. see what they have to offer and then take it from there <laughs>